it's the causes behind the movies too. Uh, the the ones that I liked last year were the ones that had real social causes behind them, like Shankal and um, um, uh, what was that other one? Amrika, and then there was another one. Uh, I forget the name of it now. It starts with an A. A lot of interesting short movies as well we saw yesterday. Very, very yes. interesting. Very interesting. And so really, we're really looking forward to this year's uh, function too. And, um uh, this time, uh, which movie are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm not really... Um I'm looking forward to all of them, really. I think tonight's movie, tonight's movie is something, yeah. yeah. Especially the women's cause one. Yes. I'm really looking forward yeah. to that. The last day, the closing movie, yes. The Rakma Bai is awesome, absolutely. Yes, we heard about that one too. And um, also, um, uh, this year I have seen a lot of short movies have come up. How do you feel about short movies? It's not a very popular genre, you know, in our... I know the one we're about to see is really good, but I'm behind on my movies because I've been working too much. But I'm looking forward to seeing them. I trust that Chitten picked all the good ones, so we'll just go to them and I will, I'll learn the names as I see them. That's awesome. Would you like to give any message to people who are listening or watching right now? And would you want to give a message that come right here next two, three days is full of movies? And, you know, what would be your message? Well, definitely. It's Billion Color Story, I believe. The opening movie yes. just now. We're going to start. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm excited to see that because, yeah. you know, the story is about an 11-year-old boy that's Hindu and Muslim. Uh -huh. And, you know, how he lives and how his life is. And I'm very interested in knowing uh -huh. how it goes because, you know, nowadays we need to, you know, it's supposed to be one love, peace, union, especially between India and Pakistan. Like, we were all one family before. So that's how God made us. And I hope this will relate to a lot of the world. The last few years have been quite interesting. You know, I've been doing various different kinds of films, yes. um, from parched to, to you know a very light-hearted romantic comedy, which is an Australian film called Un Indian, to another very interesting film called Island City, which actually won the debut director and oh, we watched it. We watched it. Yes, yeah. yes. And then like Rahma Bai and mm -hmm. Malayan, where I have a sort of an evil role. Yeah. So I've been like sort of doing various different things, and I'm really enjoying myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. just playing different parts and. And uh, right now we have the director, yeah, we have the director of the opening film, which is about to start in a minute, right? In few minutes. And um, director um, N. Padma Kumar Paddy with us, and uh, uh, we will be uh, shortly talking to Paddy. And um, would like to first of all welcome you to Dallas. How does it feel? Is that your first time? forward to seeing uh, the the men's section tomorrow most of the firms and I'm looking forward to seeing Dr. Rakma Bai because it's a very uh, it's an inspiring story and it's got Tanishta and yeah yeah what a wonderful lineup I mean opening we have such a beautiful lovely message in it and I'm not opening it I want people to see but of course we will review it after we watch the film and then we have a very inspiring story to end with so any message would you like to give to our audience about the to everyone in the media who's been covering us, especially AVS and Raju Sethi, I believe he just walked in. 
um, our, our wonderful media partner, Radio Azad. Uh, thank you for all that you do for us. Theater Jones, Dia TV, TV Asia. TV Asia, by the way, is doing a one-hour special, guys, on Just Our Festival. So that should be coming up, airing around the country. We're very excited about that. Thank you, Seema Govil, for making that happen. Anoki Media, Radio Karishma, Desi Plaza TV. So thank you all our sponsors. And my comments, I'm going to keep them brief. Um, I have the good fortune of being a part of the South Asian community and working for a company such as Wells Fargo that supports such important things, especially what we have here is celebrating our differences, celebrating what each one of us is unique about, and most importantly, recognizing that we are special and we, our strength lies in our differences, especially in a time like today. been the journey oh my gosh it's been it's bigger and better every year every thanks year. to Jitin and his team I was blown away this year it's just beautiful uh -huh. so, so uh, can we easily ask you what is next uh, what are the other horizons that SAF is you know uh, from what Jitin tells me his hopes are to he wants to make this he wants to make this bigger and better for all of us in the community who can who have the privilege of partaking in something that's so beautiful so I just wish him and his team our job is And he married my mother, who was a French lady that was a Catholic. And so I had those two religions uh, in front facing me. And uh, I grew up pretty much... Uh, you could relate with it. I could definitely relate with the film because I felt like I was a little bit like him. And I was a little bit like him. I was pretty sm a little too smart for my age. And so I... I could relate to that very well. And That's awesome, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, the subject is actually Story. about two sisters who live in Pakistan in the 70s and they haven't met for 20 years. And so they come together and during the course of the film, you find out why they didn't get along, what happened and, you know, it's a crazy ending. How, how does it feel to be here in SAF? Uh, your feeling, your experience so far, I mean, it's just beginning, but what do you expect? <laughs> it, it's like a whirlwind. It's lovely to see the energy, and there's so many people. That's uh, very exciting. And, uh, yeah, I'm expecting... <laughs> I had a friend like, yeah, I really want to see the film, but I love Rasgulla, but I just can't remember. Like, it's not even about Rasgulla. It's not a cooking film. It's Koya as in Lost. But we couldn't call it Lost because it was a very popular TV show called Lost. And the director wanted to... Koya has mystery. Koya has mystery, exactly. You, you get it. So it's about a, a Canadian uh, man, Indian, who's adopted, though. So he goes back to India for the first time to find his adopted family. But something screwy about the adoption. I think that's the one department where Pakistan has, you know, always done well. Yeah, that and music making. Yeah, music and, and cricket to some extent. Absolutely. Yeah. So really looking forward to see your film, sir, and um, your experience so far in SAF and any message. What do you like? I mean, how is your experience so far and what do you expect from the audience? I think it's fantastic. Uh, the, the main thing which I really like is how it's representing the South Asian side of the story. And I think the, some festivals do that, but they're, they're not enough. And over here, this is... This uh, it's a film about a 16-year-old girl, Raisa, who's trying to save her sister from getting sold off, uh, you know, as a bride and she's obviously underage uh, to an Arab sheikh uh, for a day and uh, it's, it's actually a prevalent practice and uh, and you know she goes to 
a bizarre extent to sort of save her sister and uh, restore her own virginity uh, which is uh, which is really uh, you know when you think of it it's it's pretty bizarre but it actually happened honestly amazing i um i cried obviously and i think it was just honestly amazing to see how that could be brought into film such a prevalent issue going on so yeah and as again a small child is a uh, he's just 12 years old and he's a star so i think this festival is totally dedicated to <laughs> teens and preteens <laughs> <laughs> any message you want to give your uh, you know I mean, we've always understood each other beautifully, and you know, he was the first person I read the script out to first. And I said, you know, would you like to do this? And he said, yeah, you think I can? I said, I do believe you. Can. So he he knows that he knows my cadence, and you know, and and he's he's known me all his life, so he knows how I'd like things and that kind of stuff. So it was not a struggle at all. It it was very easy, and I just father working with father could be, uh, you know, it could have. real life superhero and one night determines his fate. So, it's a story of, you know, just childhood, you know, fearlessness and fun, a family film, and which is something that was really close to my heart. First of all, you're a special celebrity because you're from Dallas, our own. So, and the second thing I had in my mind when I read Priyanath, I mean, it sounded very Indian name. Yes, absolutely. So the film is actually based on a story that I read an autobiography of a yogi, uh written by Paramahansa. This time all the stars are like either 12, 16 or 18. It's great to see fresh talent coming in and so early. How does it feel? Uh it feels really exciting to be here and just to see how the film has gone and moved throughout the process and then gotten to this step and I'm really excited to just see all the amazing films that are here today. Are you nervous? Uh yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm more I'm used to being behind the camera not in front of it. Okay.